Hello friends, my name is Nick, and today we're going to go back to something we used to do some time ago. If you recall on this channel, years ago, I used to do Japanese snacks uh, unboxing with my monthly Japan Crate subscription. And um, I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, specifically also a unboxing video. So I figured it'd be kind of fun to get back into that. Um, so I ordered myself some snacks from Australia, this Happy Tucker. As you can see, this is the country of Australia with their flag overlapped with the Union Jack, similar to that, because Australia was, of course, a former British colony and later Dominion within the British Empire. Now, on here, I'm probably not going to try these individually. That will probably be on my TikTok, because I'm uh, the youngest teenager in town, or the oldest teenager in town, I'm sorry. But um, I, I've looked through here before, like online. I got this on Amazon, by the way, just to like see a general glimpse. But uh, I don't quite remember because I looked a while ago. So as you can see, a lot of stuff in here. Now, obviously, the most stereotypical Australian snack is, of course, Tim Tam, which is this sort of... The biscuit, which biscuit is a, what we call here in the States a cookie because um, like most other English speaking countries in the world, um, Australia defaults to uh, British English, also known as Queen's English and Oxford English, if, uh, if I'm correct. Um, but Tim Tams, of course, are biscuits and uh, they're just, this one's got a caramel in it. Um, also it's in grams metric system so not the imperial uh, system of weight that we're used to here in the states which I always like that kind of stuff I was hoping this would have a royal mail post or a royal post sticker on it it did not but that's okay next I have this cherry ripe bar which is a luscious cherries and coconut and old gold rich dark chocolate that might not be too bad i'm not big on cherry flavor because uh to me cherry flavored artificial flavor tastes very similar to cough syrup and like robitussin but i got some tea here i'm guessing i haven't looked at any yet twinnings australian afternoon brisk and fully loaded um twinnings of london of course back citing the imperial history of uh, Australia being a colony of the British Empire. Hmm. Let's see. Sorry. Something called twisties, which I'm assuming are some sort of chips. But these are cheese flavored. Look and see the way they spelled flavored with the U. That's why I'm always very happy when I do stuff that's uh or receive things from a commonwealth or a former dominion you know canada australia new zealand south africa new brunswick which was its own independent uh colony until it was incorporated into canada back i think in the late 1940s i think that's what they joined canada. wagon wheels original which very, looks similar to a moon pie. Chocolate coated marshmallow and jam. So yeah, I think it's like a moon pie, but with some some jelly. Uh, it is typically a biscuit, so it's like a cookie. I think my father-in-law would probably like this. We have some here called Tiny Teddies. Chocolate flavor. I'm assuming that just by the way that they feel, do they still make? The, the like Teddy Grahams, I don't know if they sell you or not, but I assume they'd be very uh, uh, kin to those. And then this was the one I'm, I was actually, oh, I'm sorry. Dairy Milk Chocolate Koala. Oh, also with caramel, so that might be pretty good. It's from Cadbury, which is a British 
for me. That's the thing you always hear about, like, there's no, like, narrative that, like, if people, uh, people in the United States say that Australia is uh, too British, whereas British folks say that Australia is too American, um, I kind of go with the former, that it's very British, which could be why I like it so much. But a big part of that, of course, is because... Um, I like the British, as you can tell by the Union Jack in my room below. Now, this was the one that I was most excited for. This is the shapes, uh, which are, I think, biscuits. I mean, like cheese, it's but it's Vegemite and cheese. Now, this box, I actually ordered two different boxes. Um, I bought one for me. The one from my gal pal, to quote, to quote um, Christian. Don't ever, don't ever quote Christian. And, uh, but I ordered this one for me, and hers a different one. And I'm thinking, like, well, maybe she liked this one better. So I just ordered hers, uh, one of these as well. I kind of want to do unboxing with that, but I want to order another one. Because that one came with actual, like, Vegemite. So, but yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff... This was a Happy Tucker Australian snack box. It was like 20 bucks, I think, on Amazon. It wasn't too much. Um, if you want to see me try some of these things, which I have to wait because uh, this and the other one is actually in a Christmas present for her. And she follows me on TikTok. She does not follow me on YouTube. So that's why I'm not too worried about posting this now. But she does follow me on TikTok. And I don't want to be like, oh, look at this shit. This Australian shit I'm eating. Because then she whoops. Because then she would probably, like, figure out that I got one for her, too. So, anyway, thank you for watching, friends. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then click that bell. I have purchased an Xbox Series S. So, I, I don't know how often or how soon I will be streaming. But that is the plan for the future at some point um and you can follow me of course on twitter uh instagram tumblr tiktok at nick of epray thanks for watching have a great night enjoy your thanksgiving Bye bye